Welcome back. Today we are talking about the Uncanny Valley. So what is the Uncanny Valley? The Uncanny Valley is a point on the spectrum of human likeness that something can have, where it's too close but not quite. Here's a nice visual for you. On the way on the left we have something that's completely not human at all, like a robot that's humanoid shape. It's got arms and legs and a head but doesn't look, you would never mistake this for a human, unless it was in a dark room hiding in the corner. But don't think about that too much. Then you've got like, I don't know, free businessman cartoon vector, right? It's a little more human inspired, but you're never gonna mistake this for a real guy, I hope. It's human-like, but it's not creepy yet because it's so obviously a cartoon. Although he's really looking at me, isn't he? So you go further and further up this thing, you get slightly more human-like cartoons, you get high quality Pixar animation kind of up here, right? It looks good, but it's still very like human inspired. It's not supposed to look realistic. It just looks good for its adjacent style. So this section is what I like to call the fun and game section. Everything can look silly and fun and it's far enough from reality that you just accept it for being silly and fun, right? But what happens when you get here to the top of the roller coaster and you decide to take the plunge? Well, the things that you would find on this descent would be things like live action Homer Simpson looks wrong. You got the Cats movie, you got Will Smith as the genie, the entirety of the Polar Express movie, this Abraham Lincoln animatronic. Those are all examples of things that tried to look human-like without actually succeeding. You don't want to come close on that, because you end up here. On the other end of the valley though, it's like you've made it. Things are now realistic enough, the proportions are right, the realism's there, the animations line up. You? You're all the way there. This is you right here. Human. And this is my emotional reaction when I see you, all the way at the top of the positive spectrum. Although I did come across a post when researching this video of someone talking about how people in his life always tell him that he triggers the uncanny valley for people where people have told him, multiple people have told him that he, <laughs> I guess, looks weird enough to the point where he doesn't look all that human. So, now what? Sometimes when man looks weird, weird looking man makes me feel weird. Big deal. So let me ask you something. How does this make you feel? A little creeped out, maybe. It looks pretty human. It's just, it's strange that it's smiling in such a exaggerated way, that it seems like just a head and no body. Also, it's like two feet off the ground. So how is it that low, but still at a up angle? Uncanny Valley. It looks right, but it also doesn't. How does this make you feel? Dude, it makes a good horror concept. It really does because it's like a confusion, fear of the unknown type thing. So it's like, you're like, that doesn't seem right and I don't know why. So therefore I'm gonna just automatically feel kind of negatively towards it because I don't know if I could see this and feel positive about it. Like, oh cool, a nice person is at my door. Wow, a friend. Also, he's got some good jokes, but uh, Jimmy Carr, I'm just saying, dude looks Kind of creepy, <laughs> if you really think about it. I don't mean to be mean or anything, but this guy falls into the uncanny valley for me. I don't know what it is. How about this? Benedict Cumberbatch looking at you underneath the stall. It looks like a mannequin. I think this is from a prank video or something, but if you saw that just for a split second out of the corner of your eye, that would freak you out. That would freak you out. Me, I'd be fine with it. You, you'd be freaked out. I don't know if I would rather it be Benedict Cumberbatch or not, you know? That's no good, dude. <laughs> Another good source of this is like police sketches where they're trying to like identify people based on descriptions or you know create like a likeness of them. Pretty much exactly. They're basically creating uncanny valley on purpose. It's for work. <laughs> they look not good. They look horrific. That one's actually pretty good. That one actually looks like a regular guy. Bro, they weren't even trying with this one, man. Yikes. Have you seen this man? Ugh. It looks like they just pasted eyes and lips onto a blank face. That's a good one, remember that one. Or don't, you can forget that one right now if you need to. Have you seen this guy? Have you seen him in your dreams? Yeah, someone had made that police sketch that we just saw into a like a graphic and it looks like 
pretty convincing, but because it's based on a sketch, the proportions are all just like a little bit off. Like his eyebrows are like too big. His uh, his uh, irises are really big. His nose is kind of small. His mouth seems kind of big and it creates like a pretty normal looking guy. Like it feels like you maybe have seen this guy or that he's seen you maybe is what we're feeling. Gosh, his eyes are just, I'm gonna move on. This dog, <laughs> very human-like mouth and very human-like poses for pictures. He's just kind of like, just chilling today, enjoying my day off. Super chill dog, a little too chill. The whole NPC thing from a while ago. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to, we don't have to watch more of that one. Amanda? So my friend has a hidden talent where she can laugh. Is that hard to do? Is that a hidden talent? I feel like I could do that. I feel like I have to do it now, otherwise people are gonna think I just think I can do everything. Like you don't need to move your mouth to laugh. You don't have to move your mouth for talking unless you're saying certain consonants anyway, like ha ha ha. Ha 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 Hidden talent? Thank you so much for sharing that amazing joke with me. I enjoyed laughing at it. See? It's easy. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one star. <laughs> Keep your talents hidden next time. This goat, sort of human-like, he's got better hair than I do. Kind of, I mean, I don't know if this is weird to say or anything. I don't, I, don't clip this, but like, yeah, hopefully you know what I mean when I say this, but like, this goat's kind of handsome. You know, he's a, he's a handsome looking goat. Like, a, amongst other goats. All right, I've done it now, haven't I? You know, look, I mean, look at him. Which is creepier, this animatronic Elvis I ripped the face off of while disassembling it, or this selfie with me wearing its face. Freaking you, dude, you're the creepy thing. You did those two things. <laughs> this comment, the fact that you thought of doing this at all. Yes, yeah, ripping the face off of something and then, and then wearing it. Not what I do in my spare time. I'm just, that's all I'm gonna say. Maybe I just haven't been bored enough. What even is this? Hey, dude, this post, oh, this is from two years ago. This, is a real image of a piece of artwork that was in a, I don't know why I know so much about this. Well, I do know why. Um, this is from a mall that was in Texas. This is named Julian something. But the reason why I know it is because Kane Pixels, a YouTuber who's done Liminal Space, more backroomsy stuff than Liminal Space, did a really good video. Go watch Kane Pixels, The Oldest View, parts one, two, and three. But this statue right here was so creepy that it inspired someone two years later to use its likeness to make it a very front and center part of a creepy film. This is not Mannequin sitting next to me on this flight. She is asleep and snoring. Yikes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> gosh. She's not real. So anyway, you probably have a pretty good grasp of Uncanny Valley. Those are just some posts from the subreddit. Let's talk about what's happening on TikTok with this concept. Like I said, it's kind of a big thing on there right now. Uh, I think a lot of people have discovered this concept as well as it just becoming popular. So there's a lot of content. So the biggest thing I've seen, I think the majority of this trend is Uncanny Valley makeup, um, which, you know, it's not something I really would have thought of, but it's actually kind of genius and I'll show you why. Yeah. <laughs> I would never have put this together that you could make Uncanny Valley like from the other side where you take a perfectly normal looking human and then work your way backwards. But that's what they're doing right now, man. Yikes, dude. I was thinking at the very beginning, I was like, they look kind of uncanny at the very beginning of the video. That's, maybe that's mean, I don't know. Yeah, this is really good. The low lighting, obviously, they're leaning into the horror aspect of it, but like it looks good dude so i've definitely seen some that like weren't good where i always feel like they sort of missed the concept and it was just like horror makeup you know oh my gosh uncanny valley and they just make themselves look like a demon in a dark room crawling on all fours i'm like that's not really uncanny valley that's just like classic horror movie scary but something i wanted to show you and i think i've been building to this point is that I really like this guy's page. I think he's been doing more like silly ones as of late, but some of them are actually kind of scary. Okay, check this one out. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, what's funny is the first time I watched these videos, I was like freaked out. I was like, this is what actually what inspired me to make this video. Um, this is the first exposure to uncanny value on TikTok, and then it kind of blew up from there. It might even be this guy's fault. But every time I've gone back to watch them, I can't help but feel like they're silly every time or like almost cute. But I'm still showing them to you because if, if it's your first time, you might find them scary. So let's keep going. <laughs> That was almost too quick. Yikes, bro. That was pretty scary. Shower, pal. <laughs> okay, that's not even uncanny valley. That's just cursed they're definitely not meant to be paused on they're really good for a split second you know <sighs> yeah that's a good one Oh, that's so good, dude. <laughs> okay, like I said, the image is the, like the last half a second of the video where they flash the face of the monster. That's making me like more laugh than be scared right now. But with the first time I watched it, bro, I was spooked. <laughs> These are so good though, aren't they great? Like I said, I feel like they're more funny now. Wait a minute. I don't have a baby. What a twist. Okay, sensitive content warning. Here we go. Oof. So yeah, go check out Spencer Lackey on TikTok or I'm sorry. Spanger Lookery. But uh, yeah, that is uh, the Uncanny Valley for you. I think it's a super interesting concept, especially since it seems more like, instead of being super in your face, like horror, it's more of just like a general, like psychological uneasiness, like uh, like this. It's like, hey, that's not a real person. That's like, a, that's a robot. And I don't want that striking up a conversation with me at any point. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it interesting. I know I sure do. It is something that has amused me for a while, and I'm happy to see it gaining some traction. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Now I'm going to do the thing where I walk off camera. I need a new thing.